I'm very excited to share these products with you, and I have a fun technique to share with you, so stay tuned for that, as long as I don't forget to tell you <laughs> the technique. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm very excited about these, and this is my first favorite. Now, this is our flower background dye set. Now, these flowers will look very familiar to you. I designed this for Sizzix, and we have a club set that has a big flower in this design. And then I also have an embossing folder that is this, the, the, this design. But I have a fun technique. That's the technique I'm going to share with you, why you're going to love this. And my samples are going to show you why you need this also, because it's awesome. OK, that's one thing. Another thing is our circle dies are a hit. Everyone loves them, and they're so popular. Well, we needed to come out with one, and I know this doesn't look like much, but it looks like this, Love You. So it's Love You, and it cuts out the full circle, and it does XO, 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 which is really fun, I like hugs and kisses. Now, it also, of course, coordinates with all of our other circle dies, okay? Just a heads up. Then, along the heart theme, we also have some fun hearts. Now, we're calling this grid hearts. Ignore the name. I, sometimes I wonder where these names come from. They come from my brain. But like even just because they come from my brain doesn't mean I know where they come from. But that's what they are. They're called grid hearts, but they're hearts, and they're fun, and they're discs, different sizes. And this one's they all cut out the little circle, and I have some fun samples to share with you on that. Lastly, I have this fun mini card die set. This is a mini card that I designed for Sizzix. It is smaller than the A2 size. It's invitation size, so it's A1 size. Now, we do have an envelope that fits in the Big Shot Plus machine that will fit for the A1 size cards. Now, this is really fun. It's like the A2 size card, gatefold card, where you can have it cut out anything. So on this one, they cut out the hearts. Um, on the sample, I'm going to show you they didn't cut out anything. You can also have it ha do, it comes with presents, a triple heart. Uh, what's that one? I can't even see. Oh, one that says for you. Let me see if I can look at it this way. Uh, oh, a flower and a, another word thing that I don't even know what it says. But lots of fun things in that one also. Check out our gallery on that because that's really fun. Now, let's look at the samples. Let me show you the sample of this one really quick. So you can see this is an A2 size card. And this is, nope, that's not an A2 size card. Well, we got to find an A2 size here. This is an A2 size card. And that brown one is an A1 size card. So you can see the difference in size. Just for kicks, here is the five by seven that I also came out with. So there's three different options on sizes, which is lots of fun. Now, to open this up, we're gonna open it like this because it has a cute little band around it. We're gonna open it, and it has a cute little teddy bear from one of our club sets, which is so fun. But you can see, I left this one, well, we left, the designer left this one empty, so it didn't have a cutout, but I could have cut out a heart, I could have cut out anything I wanted and opened it up. They also go great with the triplets. So if you want to see how this works, go to the A2 size card and you can see exactly how to make it work. It's really fun. And that band is just too cute for words. Let's see if I can get it back on. Oh, I can. Look at that. Woohoo. OK, so that's one sample. Then we have, oh, here's those cute little hearts. See how fun they are? Just cut out. I love them. This is with our grid number two. Here is that love you circle. Look how perfectly it fits on our 5x7 flip it. Love it. Oh. Here's those little circle hearts, and they even are in a shaker. Hear it. Can you hear it? Isn't that fun? Cute. I heart you. Here's another love you, and then open it up, and it says miss you. Isn't that cute? Love you and miss you. Now, of course, that love you also goes on our regular circle flip it, a two size, love you. Oh, now look at this. Those hearts go perfectly on our triple circle flip it. Isn't that awesome? They fit perfect. Now let's talk flowers. Flower background, baby. Isn't that pretty? And don't forget, I have that technique to share with you. I'm just reminding myself because I'm going to forget. Then here, we used it as a background layer for our step card, which is so much fun. Now, this one is going to make you flip out. Besides my technique, it's going to flip out. You're going to flip out. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? Glitter paper behind, cut out in black the flowers. Wow, it layers perfectly on an A2 size card. Beautiful. Oh, and it looks like I have one more. 
And look how cute that is, love you. Now you can really see it, isn't that fantastic? Now, let me share with you this one. What I've done, well first I'll do, I'll make it, I'll do it again. I'm just gonna use a piece of cardstock, and here's my die set. Now it's a two die set, so if I wanted it to stay in my card, like on this black one, it's see how it's a part of the card? We literally just die cut it right out of the, out of the front and lifted it up and that stayed in. Now if I wanted to die cut out, I'm gonna use both dies that come in the kit. So what I've done first is I've used just this one and I've die cut out of midnight cardstock. That's all I did. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to use my water markers. So we have the packs of three. I'm gonna use my water markers and some of my ink pads. Now I like to use the mini ink pads for this technique. I don't know if you've seen me do this technique. I did it one other time on the water pens video, but I wanna make sure you see it. So I'm going to I've add, I'm gonna add, oh that's not guava. Now you can go directly from your ink pad. Don't do this on your big ink pads because then you'll get a lot, when you do a big solid image stamp, it won't, um, it's not gonna give you um, a solid image when you die, when you stamp. So use it, you can go directly to your mini ink pads that you use for inking. But I like to use the refill ink and I put it in the lid. And I just grab some of that ink. This is guava that I'm grabbing first. And this, there is no wrong way to do this. But look at how pretty that is. Now I'm squeezing it. So I get a little bit less and less and less. Isn't that pretty? So I have guava. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that off. Let me get some paper here. Clean it off, just squeeze it and it'll come clean. So now, because I have ink in that lid, I don't wanna flip it over and put the lid on. I'm just gonna go like this, and then I can flip it, so it's okay. You don't wanna have any spills. So now I'm going to do blue. Actually, this is not blue, this is ocean. I don't have blue. Blue, what do you mean blue? I have ocean. Okay, again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna pick up some of that ink, start dark, go light. Look how pretty this is. I, I, I have so much fun with this and I'm just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. There's no wrong way to do this. So you don't have to worry, because and I can't wait to show you what we're doing. Okay, so now we have some blue, or ocean. Close that up. And we are going to, we're not gonna do candy. Let's do pixie. Pixie, pixie, and that one has enough in the lid, but I'm gonna add just one more drop, just to make sure. The refill inks really help with this. Now the refill inks will also, this is a good question I get a lot. The refill inks will work on the mini ink pads and the big ink pads. So you don't have to buy more. You just buy the one that comes with the big ink pad and you have the same color. So you don't worry about, oh, I don't have any. No, it, you're, you're good. It's the same reinker. And those reinkers are gonna last you almost forever. Not quite forever, but almost forever. And I need some more purple here. I need more pixie. So they will last you a long, long time, but I need more. I said one drop and I didn't mean it. There. You can have so much fun with these. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add more. Okay, that looks fantastic. Now, I need to let this dry. And because we're, you don't wanna watch it dry because that would be really boring, I'm gonna put that off to the side and use that for another project. I've already done one here and it looks like I got a ink splot on it. I don't know what happened there. But it's almost dry. This one's not completely dry, <laughs> but it's almost dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it to our die cut machine and I am using my precision base plate. This die, look at how many blades that baby has. Okay, that is solid blade everywhere. Do not think that you're gonna be able to use a regular cutting pad and have this look gorgeous. You can run it through probably four times and it will look gorgeous, but if you just wanna run it through once, if you're lazy like me, use your precision base plate. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna lay this die just right on top. And even though I have that ink blot there, don't worry about it, that's fine. And this is wet, so I'm a little concerned, but it should be fine. Laying my cutting pad on top, make sure I'm on my precision base plate, and I'm gonna run that baby through. Now, of course, I'm using the express machine. It's my favorite little thing in the world because it's so quiet and I don't have to crank anymore. And for a lazy person like me, it's just, to die. Okay, so we're gonna lift this up. Oh, and I just realized I didn't do the second die. <laughs> so, okay, this will give you a good example. Now, look at that. First of all, watch. All the, uh, luckily I don't vacuum. Uh, I feel bad for the person that does though. Okay, so, but you can see all those pieces came out and we wanna be a little gentle because it is wet still because I didn't let it dry enough. But, oh my gosh, is that beautiful or what? For, oh, and I tore it because I was hitting it, dummy. Okay, but look at how pretty that is. Isn't that fantastic? Now. 
I only did, and even the even the trash, can you see even the trash? Even the trash is pretty. <laughs> I think it's hard to call that trash. That's beautiful. Um, let me clean this off real quick. Now, I should have, I should have done both of these guys at the same time. Then I would have a piece. But there's an example of what it looks like if you keep just use the one die. Now I will go back. Luckily, there's no mistakes in crafting. I'm going to lay that down, line it up on top of my die cut that's already been die cut, and we're going to run that through again. Then I will have my beautiful piece. Now, if I would have been smart, and you know, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, so usually I don't think of this till later, I would have used what on the back? Are you thinking this already? The Sizzix adhesive sheet. Because how in the world am I gonna glue this down? <laughs> Luckily this is a sample and I'm not gonna use it. But you are gonna use Sizzix adhesive on the back because imagine trying to add glue to the back of this, but hello. Is that the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your life? And how easy peasy was it, right? I just used my watercolor brush. And you can use regular markers or you can use the water brush. Now, look at that laying on that. And there's a couple little pieces I need to pull out. But isn't that fantastically beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Watercolor brushes, they come in three tips. Fantastic. I usually use the biggest one when I'm doing this technique. So much fun. There's other techniques on the watercolor brush video, so go check out that video because there's other techniques to use the brushes for. But isn't that fantastic? Now, club members, of course you get the club discount on these products on our website. As long as you're a club member, you get the club discount. If you're not a club member, join the club. No hesitation. What are you waiting for, Christmas? Well, I think Christmas is here. Thanks so much and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.